This is the final video in our five-part series, Remark Test Grading Edition 2 Designer. In this video, we demonstrate how to add and customize subjective type questions. Subjective questions are used for short answer, essay, graphing, and other types of questions where you, as the instructor, grade the student's written work by bubbling in the points he or she earned. To add a subjective section, click on the Subjective Sections drop-down caret and click on the Here button or click on the New button. In the Subjective Section Add window that's brought up, we need to specify our properties for our new section. You have the option of giving your section a title, and you can add up to 50 subjective questions. Now you can set the alignment. The way that your questions will be aligned will depend on whether you select the Bubbles Only option or the Bubbles with Write in Box option in the Format box. We'll get to that more later. For now, we're going to give this auto alignment. You can also set the maximum and minimum number of points. You can make the maximum number of points up to 999. Note that you can only set the minimum number of points if your maximum number of points is a one digit number. The minimum number of points is grayed out once it is two digits. With the format, you have the option of including bubbles only or bubbles with a write-in box. Note that the bubbles are used for the instructor's purposes only to bubble in the points that the student earned. These are not the student's answers. The option to include the write-in box includes an area where students write their answers. Suppose a student wrote their short answer on a separate piece of paper or on the back of this form. In that case, you'd only need to include the bubbles to bubble in the number of points the student earned. Now let's go back to our discussion on alignment. The left and right alignment options put all of your subjective questions for this section on the left or right side of the page or pages of your answer sheet, respectively. Auto puts the questions down the left and right sides of the page. If you watch the third and fourth videos of this series, you saw that the restart question numbering, insert line break, and insert page break options also apply to the multiple choice and math sections. Restart question numbering is useful if you want question numbering to start over when you create this section. For example, we have a multiple choice section with 10 questions. Instead of picking up at number 11, if we had restart question numbering checked, our new subjective section would start back at 1. Insert line break adds a line immediately before the selected section. Insert page break puts this section on a new page. Click on add to add your new subjective section. Notice how with our auto orientation, we have our questions for our new subjective section on both the left and right sides of the page. Now let's create a bubble with write in box type subjective section. Click on new. Now with the bubbles with write in box option, we have to specify our write in box style and height. With the write in box style, you can choose the default, which is the empty box or no fill box. You can choose horizontal lines, which might be used for short answer or essay questions, or add a rectangular grid region. This might be used for graphing type questions. For the write in box height, you have several options. You can make the question boxes span the remainder of the current page if, for example, you already have other question sections on the same page. You can make it span one or several pages. Or you can specify the answer box height in inches or centimeters using the custom option. Let's just make our questions go to the remainder of the current page. Click on Add. As you can see, the first of our two questions for our new section spans the remainder of the first page, and the second question of this section spans the remainder of the second page, which is the entire page. There are a few other settings available under Answer Sheet Settings for Subjective Questions. For the Subjective Section Layout, you have a choice between Vertical and Horizontal. Vertical numbers the questions vertically down the left-hand side of the page before continuing over to the right side of the page. That's what we have right now. Horizontal 
numbers the questions from left to right, skipping back and forth between the columns down the page. The option to dock all subjective questions to the bottom of the page ensures that all subjective questions will appear at the bottom of the answer page, even if there are other types of questions on the test. Click on Update. Notice the difference in the way our test looks with horizontal orientation. Now our question numbers are numbered from left to right, across the page, and down. Also, notice how the two questions for the second subjective section are now both at the bottom of the first page. You can edit, delete, and re-add subjective sections in the same way as multiple choice and math sections. At any point, you can go back and edit a section by clicking on the pencil icon next to that section, making your changes, and clicking on the update button. You can delete an unwanted section by clicking on the trash can icon next to the section that you want to delete, and then clicking on delete. Finally, you can add recently created sections by going to the recent drop down menu and clicking on the question style that you desire to replicate. Then click on add. In this video, we explained how to add and customize subjective type questions with the Remark Test Grading Edition 2 Designer. That concludes our final video in this series. If you need to access the other videos in this series, look for the title, Remark Test Grading Edition 2 Designer. Thanks for listening.